There you go. And you can hear the extra depth with the passing chords being added and the extra dynamic with this being a double forte on the backbone itself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in full media part 34, sea change part 3. In today's episode, we set out to add an ending to the raw version of Shadow Triptych so that it matched the time duration of the tune version and we wanted to compare the two energy charts and we wanted to also work some more on our animation. So the first thing that we did today was we updated what we call the raw and the tune scores which are these two things. The raw score has no passing chords no modulation and no dynamic changes. It's all MF, F, MF. And the tuned score begins the same way, MF, F, MF, and it adds a whole line just for passing chords alone. And then as you go through the score, uh, we change dynamics and we change uh, modulation, like here we're going plus four. And uh, other places we're raising the volume, like here. So that's what we mean by that. We also wanted to compare what do the energy charts look like for those two versions. And in order to do that, we had our line diagram here, and then we modified it to in order to compare. This at the top is the energy chart for the tuned version with three distinct standing up peaks and regions. This is the raw version, uh, which looks more like a flat range going across from left to right with a few a few poke, poking up points and troughs, but, but not nearly as much of a kind of a triple structure as we've got going here. And uh, orally, this becomes a quite interesting to listen to. Both of them are interesting to listen to with, with peaks and troughs in the energy. This perhaps tells a more outlined, dramatic uh, arc story, three big arcs, whereas this one is a series of mini arcs, so to speak. So we did that. We had to convert the raw score into a two-quarter time and go through them and annotate, make sure everything had uh, stayed the same. They sound the same, except for the, the energy uh, variations. Then we updated the animation. We decided to use MIDI to represent pitch going up and down, low high notes, and then MP3 loudness to represent the, 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 the dynamic, the volume. And we featured the figures, the backbone, and the pulse. And what we were trying to do was drive color and drive translation, which is movement, to catch our visual attention so they can match what we see with what we hear. And in this case, we're hearing pitch and uh, volume or dynamic. So that is what we worked on. And it comes out looking like this. And what we're going to do is play this for you and then take us home. So the upper line is the uh, figures. The middle line is the backbone and the bottom line is the pulse. And as we said, we're using color as being driven by uh, volume and uh, the vertical shifting up and down is being driven by the pitch, by the MIDI pitch. So we will go ahead and play that for you.
that concludes today's stream. We thank you for your time and attention and interest as always. Our ideas for next time are to work further with the animation. We might add a piano keyboard movie to go at the bottom of it. We did record one to work with. So we look forward to seeing you in the next stream. Do come back. And as always, keep on streaming.